now to make those insets that we see along here. I'm going to add in some edge loops here, but you'll see the edge loops are not cutting all the way across. And that is because edge loops can only cut across quadrilaterals, and we have a six-sided polygon in here. So we actually need to cut along these, or cut between these vertices in order to create a quadrilateral polygon here in the middle. So I'll hit K for the knife tool, and as you see, it'll snap to the vertex. I'll click, then click over on the other one, and apply that, hitting enter. And I'll do the same thing to the bottom. Now you'll see if I hold down control R, or not hold it down, just press it, I can add in two edge loops like so. And then with both of them selected, actually with just one selected at a time, again, Alt right click will select the whole edge loop. I will scale that down to zero in the Z axis. And don't worry about this, we'll fix that in a second. And then scale them down. So now this area is complete, completely flat. Now to get the other horizontal insets like this, we're not going to be able to use this topology. We're going to need to modify it a little bit. I'm going to move the plane out. And while I'm here, I'm going to delete these edge faces because we don't need those either. And I'm going to make some changes to the topology here. Right now we just have one edge cutting across diagonally. I need two edges, one going vertically and the other going horizontally. So once again, the knife tool is our friend. We'll click on one vertex, bring it over to the other. Doesn't have to be precise, we'll fix that in a bit. Make sure you look for when that red outline appears around the green square. That means that it's been snapped to a vertex and you're not going to be adding additional vertices where you don't intend to. Now I need to snap these vertices so they're aligned with the edges that we already had. So I'll turn snapping back on, shift tab, and then I'll click and drag along the appropriate axes. I'll drag along the X axis and then I'll hover my cursor over this vertex and you'll see it snaps when I get close enough. So I'll do that to all of these really quick. And then I can also delete these diagonal edges because now they're just going to, the way they are currently, they're just going to get in the way. So control tab, go to edge mode, select these edges, and don't delete the edges, dissolve them. That'll keep the faces that they connect to. And as you see now I can cut edge loops going vertically or horizontally across that. Turn off snapping when you're doing movements like this. There we go. Now, to quickly add additional insets like this and make sure that they're both the same width on top and bottom, we can use another trick. I'll put in an edge loop right there and one on the bottom. I'll scale them so that they're a bit closer to our center one and then I'll bevel them. Control B. And this way now we know both of the, the top and bottom lines are the same thickness 